Holy shit, I just watched the first episodes of three different shows that I'm going to talk about all at once because it makes my life easier to not have to edit three different videos. First up, I watched the first episode of Blue Spring Ride, or Ao Haru Ride, which is the new production IG show, which I looked at the picture and I went, oh, that looks like it's going to be just like Kimi ni Todoke, which was the last production IG show that was a low-key romantic drama with light comedy elements that was beautifully drawn because it's production IG and that's what they do. And uh, that's what I got. I got another lavishly drawn shoujo romance story with light comedy elements and some drama. And uh, so far it seems all right. I don't know how into it I might get. It's not really my kind of show, the sort of like straightforward romance show. I'm sure that it will grow more complex. There'll be characters and interpersonal relationships and character development and all that stuff. And, you know, that's all well and good, but it's just not really uh, my kind of show. I did think it was really cool how the first part of the episode is showing, like, the past before the show really gets started, and it has a different art style where the scenes from the past are like this pastel drawn, like, with textures on the hair and clothes and just looks really almost dreamlike and then the rest of the show actually just looks normal which was kind of disappointing in a way because I didn't see it coming I thought maybe it was all gonna look like that and I was like oh wow this show's really neat to look at and then it was like oh that was just the history but it was cool to have the art change and everything after that I watched the first episode of Hana Yamata which is the new Madhouse show which again being a madhouse show, I knew it was going to be drop-dead gorgeous, I knew that it was going to have a certain feel and atmosphere to it, and it had exactly that. This is sort of a girls' club show, it's, you know, a bunch of girls who are going to have fun doing some activity, and it's the type that, it borrows from the sort of k school, where it's like, it's cute and it's fun, but there's also a lot of emotional weight to what's going on. This show, right from the beginning, has a lot of emotion in it, where the main character girl is, like, trying to turn her life around and to be less of ordinary and boring and someone who just reads fairy tales. She wants to live a fairy tale, so I don't know. It could be good. It has a lot of strong Yuri vibes, which I like, and the characters are really cute. The animation and art style are really really gorgeous the whole thing looks like a painting almost so it'll be interesting to see where it goes and if it stays interesting as it goes along and the last show i watched which was surprisingly great was saba gebu or survival game club which is just a really silly comedy show about this girl who joins a survival game club which is Survival game is basically what they call airsoft or like almost like paintballing in Japan. Basically people who use airsoft guns and like reenact, almost like war reenactment kind of thing. But uh, it's very silly. There's lots of guns and it's obvious that this show is made for people who like guns, who think guns are awesome. And I like seeing guns in anime, so I'm fine with that. It has this amazing narrator who, like, criticizes the audience at times. There's there's a part where, uh, where the main character girl starts getting bullied for hanging out with the leader of the survival game club because she's supposed to be, like, beautiful and the new girl is, like, not supposed to hang out with her. So they start bullying the main character and then the narrator's like... Don't worry, you are not watching an edgy anime. These days, every time there's a little plot twist, everyone starts yelling, Oh, it's so edgy! And, <laughs> and then later he, like, tells the audience to think for themselves and go do research on stuff. It was great. The characters seem like fun. The show has a surprisingly awesome action scene when they're doing the actual survival game later in the episode. It's pretty well put together. I like to see tactical shootouts, and if they get even more tactical with it at some point, that would be awesome. I mean, it's very silly, but it felt cool to me. And I like the main character girl. I like how she's just like ruthless. She puts on a persona of trying to be like a nice girl so that people won't uh, bully her and that she'll be able to fit in at new schools because she transfers all the time. But she's just like this angry, violent, retribution having person who just like beats the shit out of people if they piss her off and it's great. According to the show, this is a shoujo manga. The, uh, the narrator said that at some point and I was like, if that's true, that is awesome. <laughs> I love to think that this is aimed at girls, and it's like this violent, insane, hilarious 
show as opposed to just the usual shoujo stuff that you get. So anyway, those are the three shows I watched. I'm going to keep watching all three of them. They're all pretty good. Summer season shaping up to be really nice so far. I'm digging it a lot more than I did the early episodes of the spring season. So I hope it stays that way. V.